Well, hello, welcome, 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 whether it's morning, whether it's afternoon, you know, doesn't really matter because who knows when you're going to be watching this video, but it's lovely to see you here across on my YouTube channel where we're going to delve in to something else, uh, something a little bit different as to what we've featured beforehand and it is something that you may have got your hands on from either QVC UK or HSN America and that is of course our sparkling winter. I just thought I've not even had a chance to play with my set here and and you'll see it when we'll have a look through it because all of it is unopened. So I thought, do you know what? Let's not even open it just yet. Let's just do it in this video, whereas we can all do it together. Now, it's not necessarily an unboxing because you'll have seen videos that I've done already across on our Crafters Companion YouTube channel where we do a little bit of an unboxing. Uh, you'll have seen Sarah on QVC UK. You'll seen myself on QVC Extra with it, as well as uh, Sarah on HSN America with it. So it's not necessarily an unboxing. We're just going to have a look and we're just going to pick out things that I think, do you know what, would make a lovely card. What I'm going to do as well is I do have a card in mind that you may have seen Sarah make uh, or even myself make on QVC Extra. But what we're going to do is we're just going to rein it in. We're just going to take our time. We're going to do all the cutting from scratch when it comes to our guillotine. We're going to do all the layering from scratch as well. No bits that are pre done we're just going to pop the bits out as and when we need them so that is my plan when it comes to this video here so with that being said we are looking at the sparkling winter so this was the main collection that you got within qvc uk of course when it comes to the TSV. Uh, for you guys stateside, you'll have got that and then you'll got your ink pads and that with you. In the UK, you've got that option to go extra when it comes to the ink pads, which all of these I have got. So let's go in and let's have a little look here. We've got our a Sparkling Winter. Now, I've got all of the extras here as well. I've got the 8x8 additional pad. I've got the card blanks. I've got our sentiment stamps and also I've got our three water-based pigment ink pads as well. So I'm just going to move them out the way for now because where possible I'm not going to use these because I'm conscious of the fact of certainly in the UK with the TSV it was this box. You didn't get them with them unless you bought them as an addition. So therefore, I thought, let's just try and steer away from them and let's use what we've got in here. So let's dive into our box and we've got all of our goodies. Now, as I said before, we're not going to do an unboxing as such. I'm just going to go through, have a look and cherry pick sections and bits that I think I know. Let's use that. So I'm going to go, we're definitely going to need our pearls, of course, aren't we? Uh, maybe need our embossed layers. Definitely going to need our card blank and in actual fact, let's take it out just now. So let's go, let's go with our navy. Let's go with our pearl navy card stock. Six by six. Six by six or five by five? Yeah, six by six. Don't know why I question myself there. So I've got that. So I'm going to set that to the side. Maybe use a bell, got the envelopes of course, going to need, might need some of the card blanks or the card bases. Let's take, maybe do a box as well actually. Let's take some of these, so I'll need the papers for sure. Yep. Definitely need them. I'll just put them to the side in total. I definitely need the die cut sentiments. Might need the die cut edges. Maybe need the snowflakes. Maybe need the panels. Maybe need the acetate. Oh, maybe need the vellum though. Oh. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Right, let's keep it at that because what I want to do as well is I want to keep this very, very, very simple to start with. So anyone that has bought this off the back of QVC or HSN where you're a beginner crafter, no die cut machine, no nothing, you know, all that you're going to need is some form of adhesive and of course something to cut the layers with. Uh, I'm going to 
rain it straight back in here. Hence why I don't want to add any of those additional items from the additional bundle. And at the moment, I might not use any of the, the glitter and the glitter paste, etc. Because we're just going to kind of do it as a build in that confidence level. Keeping it very, very simple. And then what I'll do is I'll do a few more of these videos where we start to go intermediate and more advanced. So that is my plan when it comes to this video. So I'm going to set that out of the way for now. So I've got a lovely selection of all these different things that we can see here. So I'm going to go in, of course, with my acetate. I've got the panels. I'll maybe use the edgeable laser cuts. Um, so, right, let's just get started to start with. So I am going to be using our guillotine and I'm going to use, let's just use our smaller one because I won't need the largest one. So I want to do kind of like an acetate bridge. Now, if I do go quiet, it's just because I'm having a drink of my tea. If this is the first time you're watching any of my tutorial videos, I don't edit these. I put these out completely live. Now, when I say live, I mean in the terms of me recording them. So I don't edit them. I don't take bits out. What happens, you see. So, quite literally, if my doorbell goes, you will uh, go on pause until I come back. Uh, that gives you a little indication as to what I mean. And the reason being is so many of you say, I love it when I see it from start to end now what that means in crafting terms is within these videos if i need to do a lot of stamping and coloring you will see me doing the stamping and coloring we're not going to start it and then cut to it here's all the ones i've done earlier on so if you do want to come along and craft along with me you can absolutely do that because i skip no parts i do it as i am filming it so that's why they are unedited so now we can go back into here so let's go back into these ones here what i'm going to do as well is let's take our card blank now i'm going to line up the actual seam of my card blank to that two inch mark so essentially what i've done is i've cut two inches there so that's two inches i'm going to come along with that remaining part and i'm going to do the same again i'm going to cut at two inches so we've got that kind of like inner channel that you can see here. I don't need that bit for now anyway, so I'm just going to move that out of the way. Let's do our background. So let's come in. I'm just going to set that safely to the side. Let's come along now with our pattern papers. So if I bring these pattern papers in, let's have a look. I want more of a lighter tote, like so something like that, or actually... Something like that. What a bit of a lighter tone. Yeah, let's go into that one. So because this is six by six, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in one of these layers here. If you haven't watched any of my videos before or you haven't watched any of the kind of creative work that I do, I like my mats and layers. I love that framework look that we get from our mats and our layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with one of these pearl sheets. Now, this is just one of the single pearl sheets. It's not a card blank. So because my card blank is six by six, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim that to exactly five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So then that's going to give me my nice matting layer for inside. I'm going to come in with this inner layer here and I'm going to cut this to five and a half by five and a half and then I'm going to then overlay that over the top so what that's then going to do is that's going to frame that background layer that we can see here now because of this because we're actually going to end up seeing through our inner panel when it comes to writing your little note, your little sentiment, your verse, if you want to stamp it out or just handwrite it or print it, you can either do a white matte and layer in the middle there for you to, of course, write your message on. Or if you don't want that, your handwriting to be seen through what will be our panel, you can always do a matte and layer onto the back if you want to. So I'll leave that for you to decide what you want to do. But I've got my back layer here so I'm just going to set that out the way and we can attach just shortly 
let's come along with one of these panels here. These are gorgeous. These are all laser cut. Gorgeous, gorgeous panels here. So let's take that one out. So we're just going to pop that out nice and carefully. So if we take that out, I'm just going to prise that apart. And then we're going to then just pop that back in. Now this is, as I referred to at the start, this is, I kind of done something similar to this on QVC Extra the other week. But the only thing is, is I had all the layers done and it's really, really quick. Even though we get a little bit more time than we do on the main channel, it's still quite a short amount of time. So what I wanted to do with this is recreate something very, very, very similar, but I'll do that later on. Something very, very similar, but in real time so that you can come back and follow me in real time. Now, if I bring this one in, what I'm going to do is just make sure I've got all of that lined up into here now what i want to do with this one is i want to kind of keep that solid white edge because i like that solid white edge i like the look of it it's it's very uh, distinctive in the middle but what i am wanting to do they're not overly straight so i'm just wanting to trim it ever so slightly so that they're exactly straight. I'm just going to trim that a little bit more, like so. And then that just means when we come along into here and then line that up into there, it's going to be nice and that's going to be straight. And same with that one there, it's going to be nice and straight. We might just need to do a little bit of trimming of the card blank at the side to make it a little bit slimmer. But still, we're going to go with that effect just here. Now, I need to, of course, bridge that across. So this is when our acetate's going to come in. So let's take this pit here. The other thing I want to do is I want to show you how you can hide the adhesive of the acetate on the back which of course we don't get time to do when it comes to the shows so what i'm going to do within this one here is let's just trim it to let's go yeah let's trim it to three inches and then again we're going to do six inches because that's our card blank so if i take that out the way now that's then going to be sandwiched in the middle just here. Now I'm going to use red liner tape for this. If you've got your crafter's companion tape runner, that will work a treat as well. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to run all the way along there. And then let's trim. I'm going to do that on this panel here as well. And trim what we can then do is if i bring in my poke tool i'm just going to take that back and off here and bring in our acetate so i'm just going to line my acetate along the bottom of my card blank just here and then i just want to make sure that i'm going to have left over to it which i am so let's press that in and then we're going to come in here take that off and then I'm just going to line that one up straight against there and then press that in and then what I might actually do I might actually change my mind slightly because that will fit in there but I like the look of having like a little channel of the acetate down each side so therefore Let's trim a little bit more. So let's trim 
maybe about half a quarter of an inch maybe. I'm using the guides on my guillotine here just to make those a little bit slimmer so that if I put that into there not only am I seeing the snowflakes through the center but I like to have that channel of the snowflakes down the side that you can see here and then I just thought although oh no there they are because we could have used those scraps to neaten up the edge. Oh, I like that. Oh, I really like that. Right. Let's do that. So we're using the scraps from the edge of that as a way to just finish off the edge of our blue card. So for this one, let's take... I'm going to use my tacky glue for this here. So let's bring in my tacky glue. And then I'm just going to put, I'm just going to make sure that that is flowing and it's not, which it is, it is, right, where is my little, my little tool that I use when my glue gets, oh, here we go, here we are here, just, it's just, just like a tiny little bit of jewellery wire that I use. If ever, it's not often that my glue gets clogged up, but if it does, that's what I use. So if I then take my glue and I'm just using that strip, so no waste, we're not wasting anything. So let me try and get my big head out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And what I am doing is I'm going right to the edge of my blue peril card what that does if I actually come a little bit closer see how you've got the edge against the acetate which do you know that is absolutely fine that looks absolutely fine but just see how much nicer that that striking white strip looks just to break off the layer so what we can do is we can then come along and then add that. And actually, I've got a little rogue little piece. So let's pop that in to there and line straight up and then press that in. And then there we go. Just really, really nicely neatens up that edge that we can see. And then for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to pop that into the middle just there. But I'm only going to put my acetate down the strips because I want to pop up some of these little flakes from the acetate. So once again, I'm going to go in with my red liner tape you can use your tacky glue onto your acetate you just need to let it dry a little bit longer than cardstock so if i use my red liner tape pop all that down there into here and then press that down Press that down, take that off, take that off, and then what we can do is come along and then just make sure that I get that nicely even in the middle, like so. Press that in. And then I'm not going to pull these up just yet because if I do that now, I'll end up flattening it afterwards when I come along and do more mats and layers. But there we've got a double little strip. And do you know something? Even just doing that with a little sentiment along the bottom will be more than enough. 
absolutely more than enough. Keeps it nice, clean and simple that we can see here. So a little sentiment down there or even in the middle or even just one of the square ones. That's all that you need. But we're not going to do that. We are just going to do some more mats and layers. So what we can then do is if I use, so we've got that paper which is going to go into the back just here. So if I bring that in, that's going to go into the back that you can see there. But let's take those excess strips here. So we're going to do these excess strips, but what I want to do as well is maybe me, I still want to do my white matte and layer. So for this, this is going to be two, well, what we now, but now we've gone in. So one and three quarters by six. So one and three quarters by six, and that's going to be the same. So let's do, so let's do one and a half by five and three quarters. Let's get that right, Craig, measured up nicely. So we've got one panel there. And then I'm going to do the same for another one. So we're going to do one and three quarters by five and three quarters, which is going to go down one and a half, as I meant. One and a half by five and three quarters that we can see here. Let's bring in our pattern paper. I'm going to use the same pattern paper as before. So we're coming down a quarter of an inch. So that's five and a half by one and a quarter, which we can see here. It's just going to sit over the top. And then we're going to do the same again. One and a quarter, which will get the two bits out of here. And then that and that is going to sit nicely there. And then if we could turn it that way, we've got our double panels that we can see. Move that out of the way for now. But remember I was saying about the acetate. And see how you see, you see that uh, the acetate onto the back, the adhesive. Now, of course, on TV, we don't always get the time to show you how to hide that. So all that I'm going to do is take my part and paper. And probably, yeah, I'm going to use that. So that is two by six. So I'm going to keep it quite close to two by six. I'm going to come just over five and three quarters and just over one and three quarters. That, if I bring in here, is then going to hide the adhesive from the acetate. And I need to do that again. So let me get another bit of matching paper. So let's come in with a piece of matching paper. And then, as I said before, just after one and three quarters and just after five and three quarters that's going to go into there and then that's going to hide your acetate plus what it does is it gives you a lovely lovely decoration on the inside so let's assemble these bits for now so let's bring these in and then for me my go-to is always double-sided tape so that's what i'm going to use stick with your tape runner if you want to or stick with your tacky glue if you want to but i'm going in with my double-sided adhesive tape and this is just tissue tape that you can tear so let's take these ones off here and then we can pop that back into there and take that off of there. 
pop that into place. We've got lovely, lovely finished edge where you would not see the acetate where it's joining. So that's that one. While we're here as well, let's just do our inside layer. So let's work our way around with your tape or whichever adhesive you're using. So if I add my tape there, let's bring in our next one here. And then we're going to then take that off. And I am actually really inclined to keep this one very 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 simple on the front that we can see here i'm tempted not to use those panel strips that i've already cut because i really love that clean and simple sophisticated look and as i say i will be doing more videos where we become more advanced i'm gonna go in to there like so and then as i said before you could come along with a white matte and layer into the back here so you can write your sentiment or that or you can come in with your silver pen just see as well how the inside how gorgeous that looks and it just full flows all the way through when it comes to what you've created so now that we have got that one well uh, Let's go in. Yeah, no, let's. Yeah, let's do it. Seeing as I've done it, let's let's do it. But it goes to show that you don't have to do these. If you're going to follow along with what I'm doing and you choose to not add these layers, then you can absolutely do that. So let's add that one in. Just a rogue bit of card there so if I take my tape with that one and add that on into there set that into place now you could ink the edges with these with your ink pads if you want to or of course that can go onto the top of a box instead so instead of using a card blank you could use one of the boxes let's go in with this one and add that into place take that off of course we've got our stencils now we could add stencil work to this if we wanted to there we go so there's the front of our card. We've got the inside, which is beautifully finished off as well. Let's take, so let's have a look at one of these sentiments here. Let's go in with, I think the dark is still going to work well. Let's do joy joy noel actually no let's go in with winter kisses kiss it kisses kisses and snowflake wishes and what i'm going to do is i am just going to snip off these tiny tiny little pips that hold them into place just snip them off I'm going to pop that into the middle. I'm not overly concerned about it covering elements of my snowflakes because I think that just works. I think that still works really, really well. And let's also come in with a couple of these snowflakes. Just remember, when it comes to the design, I'm going to keep this one quite simplistic. And then we'll come back and we'll post more videos over time of more advanced ones. 
So that can go there. So let's bring two the same. So there and there. And I'm going to do that and that. So I'm going to overlay them together and overlay them. But I'm going to lift them a little bit further up so they're overlapping onto my sentiment. Which we can go into place just here. No inking them, no nothing. You can, of course, as I say, it's entirely up to yourself. But at this moment in time, we're going to keep them very simple. I'm going to come in with some foam pads here. So let's add just a few foam pads there. So if we lift these off and that off, that can sit nicely into the middle. So we've got that little bit of lift. What we're then going to do is we're going to come along and I'm going to use my tacky glue and I'm only going to go into kind of the, the rough centre of the snowflake and coming up so that I can come along afterwards and lift up the little flakes of the snowflake arms. I'm then going to do a little dot in there and overlap that snowflake into the middle. I'm just going to press my pokey tool while I take a drink. And then let's do the same with this one. So we're going to bring in our tacky glue. Going to overlap ever so slightly. Let's press that in. Add another bit in the middle and bring in our glue. And let's press that in. Hold that for a second or two while that grabs. And just while that's grabbing, let's bring in our petals. I'm going to go in with some mediocre sized ones. So let's go in with a medium size. I'm going to pick that up. And because we've still got a tiny little bit of glue starting to um, pop through, I'm going to press that in. And that glue is going to make it even stronger by holding it into place. So when it's sitting on the mantelpiece, it's not going to pop off or fall off. And then because we've got our snowflakes here, which are quite symmetrical, I'm going to add a little bit of glue in there. Now, our gems are self-adhesive, but I will always add a little bit of tacky glue to the back. And I'll do it with all company gems or petals that I use. And I've gone in with the largest petal that we can see here. And then what I want to do to tie that in, I'm going to do a little dot of glue and a little dot of glue. And then I'm just going to go in with one of those tiny petals. And then I'm going to do the same with that one there. I'm going to go in with a tiny one. Let's nudge that into place. Now your tacky glue will dry clear, so don't worry about seeing it white. And then what I'm going to do is let's use our pokey tool. And I'm going to pop some of these up. I'll just left give that a little bit of lift that we can see here. I'm then just going to then do the same. Just give that a little bit of lift. There, there. And there. And then with these ones, let's do the same here. There we go. Pop them up like so of there. Like that. And that is quite simply all that I'm going to do when it comes to this one. 
I said before, keeping it really, really simple. But how effective does that look? It's really effective. You've got those really, really striking snowflakes that we can see here. We've kind of got that double band there of the acetate into the background. We could have added our inks. We could have added our glitter paste. There was so much that we could have done with that, with everything that's included within this collection, but just reining it in, keeping it very, very simple so you can follow along with the steps. And then on the inside, you've got your beautiful inside with the panels covering the adhesive that we can see just here. What you could do if you wanted to, is like so if here this aperture if we bring in let's take that bit of extra card remember that came from this middle strip if you're a little bit you know if you don't want to see the foam pads being shown what you could do is take that and let's bring in a pencil so let's draw around that inner aperture. So let's draw around. And then what we're going to do is let's take our scissors and I'm just going to roughly cut that out. And then I'm just going to follow my pencil line and I'm cutting just to the inside so that we don't see any of that pencil line. Follow it all the way through. Cut in all the way around up to the edge. I always find it easier to cut with small scissors. You might find it easier with large scissors. Again, that's a personal preference. Let's come along here. Into there. So we've got pretty much a replicated shape that we can see here. And then all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back here. I'm going to be careful not to squash my snowflakes. But then if I bring that into place, move that in, then what we've got is we've got our winter kisses, kisses and snowflake wishes. And when you turn it onto the back, I'm just going to, Lightly press that just a little bit harder. You don't see any of the foam pads. It just neatens it up. So that gives you a good idea as to how you can hide the, the foam pads with your acetate by using the waste as an aperture to draw around. But there we go. Lovely 6x6 six six card. And it will fit, of course, still in the envelope that you've got there. And it still, of course, will stand upright that you can see within that one there. There we go. So... I hope you enjoyed that one and I hope, of course, you do make that. If you do make this, whether you do it exactly as to how I've done it, whether you change it up, please do make sure that you pop a picture in the fans of Crafter's Companion on QVC and also the fans of Crafter's Companion on HSM. Be good to see your take within this video here. But you can then, of course, do that. You can add more to it as well if you want to. You can even still rein it back in if you want to when it comes to the collection. It's a really gorgeous collection, beautiful collection that I know that you're going to get so much use out of year after year after year with all the bits that you've got left over. But that is just one video that I plan on doing when it comes to this beautiful collection. Plan on doing a few more, as I said at the start, and actually a couple of times throughout this little tutorial video here that I want to do kind of different levels intermediate as well as a little bit advanced bringing in the gilded flakes as well as bringing in your glitter paste etc etc so i really hope you enjoyed that one i uh, hope you come back again and uh, watch any of my upcoming ones or of course any of my previous ones but while you're here on youtube if you've not done so already please do make sure that you give me a thumbs up but then also hit that bell so then you're going to be notified when of course i do pop any of my tutorials up here on my youtube channel but until the next time we'll see you again bye